Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again for another out and about video for you guys today. I'm on the streets of Hollywood yet again for another movie screening, baby. Tonight at the Chinese Theater, they're gonna be playing the good old movie from the 80s, The Wizard, starring Fred Savage and Luke Edwards. And of course, Christian Slater and a bunch of people. But this is gonna be the first time I saw this movie in theaters. So it should be fucking cool, man, because I heard Luke Edwards. The kid from the movie, the kid that says California, is gonna be there in person signing autographs, taking pictures and things. And maybe Fred Savage might show up tonight? Who knows? But holy shit, guys, look, I'm walking down Hollywood Boulevard right now, and I just saw like a turtle van uh, sort of thing parked over here that sells turtle ice cream. Now, this is kind of cool, man. You can come and just get like different kind of like old school, you know, uh, it's called turtle pops. Probably have like gumball, you know, gumballs as eyes. You can get, you know, the Minions or like Tweety Bird. That's kind of cool, man. It's like shaped as like a old school Ninja Turtle van. That is pretty cool. Warning, children crossing. That's pretty cool. You never know what you're gonna see out here in Hollywood. Something new every day. But the same old hordes of people every time in Hollywood. No matter what day you come, hordes of people are everywhere. Crikey. I saw the sign and I opened up my eyes I saw the sign oh yeah I just had to get the footlong rotisserie chicken over here nicely toasted with my veggies and man that rotisserie chicken is my favorite I ain't gonna lie all right guys outside of the uh, TCL uh, Chinese theater right now with my homeboy Scotty what you doing bro uh, wait you said you, you said you might have seen it a long time ago when you were a kid huh like, what year did it come out? 90s? 89, I think? 89? Something like that. I probably saw it in 92. Yeah, you look at you rocking your Reptar t-shirt. That's what I like about the crew, man. We're all nerds up in here. And guys, the line has begun for the wizard. All the super nerds are out in full effect tonight for the wizard screening out here in Hollywood. Oh, you saw the line of people. It's getting crazy over here, but it got a little bit more crazy. What's going on here? Whoa, whoa! What's up, Adam the... What's happening there? Pretty much. Pretty good, man. I haven't seen you in a while. You caught me without my hat, my trademark hat. Yeah, but usually when you're in my videos, you put your glasses on. Yeah, you try to, try to cover up your expressions. You're not supposed to wear your sunglasses inside. Just, you can wear them at night, but not inside. Well, you can wear them, man. You're the you can do what you want. Yeah, man, but... Have you... Tell that to my mom. Huh? My mom doesn't agree with that. She doesn't? No. Yeah, she has a, a stern words to say about things that I did. Yeah, man, but like, I'm not gonna lie, dude, I missed you, brother. I always like seeing you at conventions know, and different things. You came running over there, you started punching me but, in the gut. Good, no, not, not all hard. Is that what friends do? Punch each other in the gut? I didn't do it that hard, come on now. No, but how you been, man? Because you, you just told me you walked on, you walked up to the Hollywood sign today. I did. That's... I, uh, I walked up there, I got de very dehydrated. You didn't bring water? The rest half, I had one water and one Gatorade, which I finished before I even reached the summit. Mm -hmm. And then I had to make it all the way back down without any kind of hydration. Okay. It was, it was not fun. Oh, but... So I got back to the house. Mm -hmm. Got some Gatorade from the store down the road. Okay. And drank like 10 Gatorades and just laid in bed for like half the day. And then my friend texted me and said, let's see the wizard. Hell yeah, dude. I said, heck yeah. Yeah, when's the last time you saw that one, wizard? It's probably, in its entirety, it's probably been at least six, seven years. Maybe even closer to ten. That's awesome. As and far even, as watching it from start to finish. And even the star, one of the stars of the film is over there right now. Yeah. Pictures and autographs. It's pretty dope. It's the one that says, California. Guys, now we're in line uh, to meet Luke Edwards. This is one of the stars of The Wizard. This kid right over here. Hey Scott, dude, check this out. People are even bringing their old NES systems over here to have Luke Edwards sign it. Now that is pretty, pretty dope. By Phil Moore from Nick Arcade, too. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Phil Moore's a homie. Phil Moore. Phil Moore's Phil... the bomb, dude. He's the best. Yeah, dude. Phil Moore's part of my vlog sometimes. Every uh, once in a while yeah, I, see out here. That. I see him on there. Yeah, too. yeah pretty, pretty sure. cool, dude. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, it's about to happen. I'm about to meet like Luke Edwards over here. Um, is that put you sign my uh, DVD of The Wizard? Oh, thanks, my brother. Uh, what was it like working on the Wizard? It's great. Um, was it one of your first movies? It was my first feature. Was it cool working with Fred Savage? Like, did you know was he was he famous at the time to you? Like, did you know who he was working with him in the movie? Very much. It was, it was kind of just like hype. Mm -hmm. It was like this thing at the time. Yeah. Um, so he was really, he was very cool. Um, you know, he was busy. <laughs> yeah. We'll put it that way. So was it was like working on this movie and one year at the same time going back and forth doing it or something? Right. And for you guys who don't know, he's the guy. In in this movie that says California, like all, all throughout the movie. He was also in the movie Little Big League. 
And uh, Jeepers Creepers 2, right? Jeepers Creepers 2? Yeah, that's pretty cool, man. I just want to say thank you for taking your time to talk to me, man. Okay. All right, Scotty boy, we're in the theater right now. The movie is gonna start any minute now. Are you ready to get your nerd on? Look at this shirt. Yeah, I started before I even got here. And look, look. I'm even sitting next to the woman man over here. What's that? That's amazing right there. Are you allowed to film inside a movie theater? Is that, is that? Dude, what movie one? No, recognize. Do what I want. Let's 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 bring up please Jimmy Woods, aka. How how old or exactly were you when you found this? Eight. You were eight. <laughs> okay. Do you remember any of the audition process or what was kind of the first bit of um, acting that you did on the film? Like the first scene. What's the earliest memory you have for making this movie? Yeah, uh, I do. I do remember a little bit of the audition process, which. I'm sure you can imagine there wasn't much to it because there was a lot of lines. <laughs> <laughs> so it was um, the, the the woman who cast it was Mally Finn, who's like a she's she's gone now, but she was like a legendary um, casting director. And so the the process was kind of more about like getting the new <laughs> stuff than than reading material because there wasn't a lot to read. Um, so it was it was more like you know I was the right kind of guy, or I don't know. You were just really quiet and awkward. I was really, I was good at being quiet and awkward. Yeah, this right. too. So, uh, this was kind of at the height of Fred Savage's uh, uh, power, and, right? It's I mean, a gold number. Right, I mean, I mean this is uh, during Wonder Years, right? I know he was at, he was making a lot of demands, a lot of things were happening back then for him. What was he like as a cast member to work with? I know, but what if Fred were here? I'm just kidding. He'd be no, okay. Um, I remember it was cool, but a bit of a diva. He was kind of a diva. Just, you know, I mean, at the time, he was, you know, I'll put it, uh, busy. Which, if, you know, if, if people ever get to that level where they're really busy and working a lot and in demand, it's a crazy life. And, you know, he was a kid. So... Yeah, I mean, understandably, he, he, you know, he had a lot going on. He at was the time. busy. He was busy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, the movie just wrapped up, and I'm with my old school friend over here, Steven Kramer Glickman, over here. What you been up to, bro? Hey, you know, um, going to see a lot of movies, going check, checking out the movies. I like. Uh, you like movies? You can I walk like and talk. Let's go. Movies. Yeah. I like seeing the movies, and this is one of my favorite movies. Is going to see The Wizard. Yeah, yeah I, I love this Fred one too. Fred Savage. Yeah. And and oh. a bunch of other people, and I like that movie, and I like what they do in the movie because yeah. they play video games, and that's uh, uh, means a lot to me. Because when I was a kid, I used to play a lot of video what games. What was what was one of your favorite video games back in the day? Oh, I like playing uh, the uh, what's the one with the uh, monkey? Oh, uh, Donkey Kong. No, 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 the other one. I don't. The other one. The one where they got where he Diddy Kong. No, no, where he's up on the thing and there's a princess. Oh. And and he's like, he's like angry. I think that might be Donkey Kong. No, 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 no. no. The princess. I can't even remember no, what that he, one is. Look, there's like lines like this. Oh. And at the top, he's at the top, and he's throwing. Uh, what is he throwing? Barrels. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah, I think yeah. that's old school Mario with Donkey Kong on top. But I could be wrong. No. You guys will let me know down below no, in the comments. No, 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 no. No, but I've known this you guy. You gotta know your stuff, dude. When it comes to video games, you gotta know what's up. Well, I'm the movie guy. That's what's up. That's what's movie up. Guy. But thanks, Steve, man. It's cool seeing you dude, again. That's good to see you too, man. I haven't seen you since like what the old Joking Ball days, man. With Dante. You remember that? Remember that place? Yeah. God. I've been friends with this guy ever since we before YouTube. For a long time. Before YouTube existed. Yeah. Yeah, like, before, like back in the old days of the internet. Yeah, back before it was like dial-up back in the day, if you know what I mean. Yeah, when it was up on the dial-up. And you would you would come around and you were making videos. I'm trying. Even back then you were making videos. A little bit, yeah. But is there anything yeah, you have to plug on here? He's been around so long, he's been making DVDs too. He, he oh put, my god, and that guy's like the, the, the world's... Blu-ray. That guy right there is the world's famous extra. It goes on Blu-ray now. Yeah, it does. But thanks, Steve, man. Like You're the brother. Hey, you right take care of yourself. You brother. Brother. The world's, that's what I said, the world's greatest extra. The world's well, most well-known extra. Oh, yeah. So, Scotty boy, 
You're tired already, bro? Look, you have to be at the turn on when the camera's on, bro. Just just be, just be yourself, man. We'll get something to eat in a couple minutes for sure. But like, since this is like the first time you've seen this one in a long time, do you remember it now? No, I actually don't remember it. But what, what, what are your impressions on it then? So it's like you, you just got your cherry popped again after all these years. Um, I, I don't know. I, lo I love the, the late 80s, early 90s, anything like that. So Yeah, it was cool like seeing like, the old school like Universal Studios back lot stuff. And yeah. yeah, it's, it's just a lot of fun. I, I, like, I like this one. We'll talk more a little bit when we get some food, boy. All right, everyone. Adam the Woo and my homeboy Scotty just got out of the movie over here. Just walking around Hollywood right now. I've yeah. never seen it in that. They said it was a 4K transfer, but yeah. I don't know if that was true. But yeah, 4K, 2K, looked, something like that. It looked better than the VHS version I used to have. Oh, so. de definitely. But is this the first time you came to a, one of Corey's I've events? Never, I've never been to a movie theater in Hollywood, period. Never? Since you've been out here? I rarely go to, to newer movies. Mm -hmm. so this is kind of a throwback. Okay. So because of the throwback, I've experienced it firsthand in the newer theater. Okay, Scotty, man. We're still walking down Hollywood right now. We're trying to figure out where we're going to go to eat and everything. They do have street meat uh, over here. Uh, if you want to get, you want to get some street meat? Uh, no. You know, because I don't want to get it from this guy or this gal. What? Okay, okay, you want, you guys want... Should I call an ambulance? I, I don't know. Okay, 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 calm down. Calm down, put that street meat down, sir. Put that street meat down. Let's go get pizza or something. All right, guys, we're heading on into Joe's Pizza to chow on down. Look at all the different kinds of pizza they got over here. They have my favorite one over there. They have the jalapenos on it. What is one of your favorite pizzas, Adam? I was kind of looking at this one here. It has like that, that crazy cheese. Yeah. That's a feta cheese? Feta, I think it might be, it might be feta, yeah. So, Scotty boy, what kind of pizza did you end up getting? Uh, veggie. Veggie? Yeah, look at all that. Oh, gee, that's like, wait, that's, how much shit is on there? All of it. Yeah. <laughs> what, what did you get, end up getting? Mine is so boring compared to his. Mine is plain. Hey, Mine man, is... you're not boring. Look it. I got plain, too. We're like brothers, sir. We're like brothers. We're like brothers. We oh. wanted another brother. Well, welcome to the family. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> what about you, Mr. Wu? It's very hot pepperoni. Oh, yeah. It's very hot and drippy. You know, it's not good unless it's... Look at all this dripping off of it. Yeah, it's not good unless it's this. dripping. It's not dripping now, but it was. Look at the plate. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and we both got our snapples. I haven't had a snapple in like, snapple since, apple. yeah, since I was a kid. Oh yeah! All right, everyone, we uh, just got done eating our pizza over here with a posse and everything. I should, I shouldn't be eating the pizza, but I'm doing it anyway. I talked here though. Well, kind of a little bit, just, just Bad a little. It was delicious though. Yeah, it was. Yeah, you guys recognize this guy back here? You may or may not, because when I saw him for a little bit, I'm like, how do I know him? Well, there's big curly hair under here. Yeah, big curly hair under like there. It's an afro. Yep. If you guys left and show glee, you know who this guy is. Jacob Ben Israel. But Josh, man, just like a second ago, we just said you're from the TV show Glee. And uh, how was it working on that show? I was cool. Yeah? Uh, uh, it was fun. And people sang. And I got to witness it. I was like a front row concert. It was, huh? A, a front row concert seat. Tickets to like, people who were really good. Did you ever have a crush on anybody on the set? Because I'm not going to lie, I've always had the biggest crush on Liam Michelle. A little uh, bit. My character had a crush on Liam Michelle, so yeah. I by the crush on Rachel. It was kind of creepy. Yeah. I had a crush on Jayma Mays, mm. who played um, Emma Pillsbury, the guidance counselor with the red hair. But she has a husband, so um, no. But it was an innocent crush. Like I wasn't gonna. Oh yeah, of course. Swoop yeah. In if anyone's getting that idea. No, I know. I'm not a home wrecker here. No, I know what you mean. But like, quick question: Is Liam Michelle? Nice on was she is she nice or is she like a prima donna because they kind of I kind of get that little vibe from her a little bit. Well, I mean she exists after Madonna, so I'd say she's more of a post Madonna. Okay. Than a prima donna because Madonna came first. Okay. Gotcha. That's what I have to say about the talented Leah Michelle. Oh yeah. But guys, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I'll leave a link down below for everyone's uh, YouTube channels, Facebook, Twitter's, whatever. Mine? Yeah, hell yeah. Well, that's <laughs> awesome, man. Might thank as you. well, man. You're my homie. I appreciate that. Bow. Thanks, guys, for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.